One of the nicest, one of the coolest things Ukulu Mango said to me is he once sat with you and I, I believe this is the story because he told me many years back. He once sat with you and you, the topic of golf came up. I don't know how true the story is. And I think he asked you why you don't play golf because apparently deals are done on the golf course. And you said, people know what I'm good at. People know what I'm competent at. They, they have my track record. If they want me, they'll find me. I don't need to go to the golf course. I, I, I don't know how true the story is. It's true. But it's, it's 100% true. Uh, the importance of that, of not necessarily following the traditional route and being like, well, go play golf if you need to do that. But be careful to not do things that are going to waste your time because you don't need that. Mm. You already are qualified, competent in other spaces. Rather, go make an impact there. I think I, I wanted to qualify and, and verify that story and then also just get you to be the one to kind of own it now that I'm here with you. So for me, it's always about being deliberate about what do you want? Who are you for starters? Yeah. Who are you? What's your purpose in life? Why are you here? You did this with Singh in a, yes. in a shack, journaling, exactly. figuring out who you are. Most people exactly. never go through that journey. Yeah, I, you know, that's why a lot of these skills or competencies are, are self-taught. But the question is, how can we impart them to young people, right? Yeah. Um, so for me, that question still prevails today. What's my, what's my potential, right? I'm doing a PhD now in Denmark mm, 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 in education. Mm. So I travel back and forth because... Am I good only here Yeah. in South Africa? I mean, that was a question. When I, when I started the company, Sizwen Company, and then it grew, it became Sizwen Saluba Kobodo. You've done this, but is that your full potential? Have you, are you able to run a large company? And that was telecom. Can I run a company which is a white culture mm. in it. Very white, very Africans. Very Africans. Yeah. Can I succeed in that context, in that environment? Can I start a business again and make it success, succeed and grow? The age of 60. Yeah. Can I go and study something new with, you know, sit with, 20 or early 30 year olds <laughs> in a completely different context in the snow, you know, country in winter and that kind of thing, kind of survive in that environment. So it's a continuous question. Who am I and what's my potential? And right? don't, don't do the easy things. Don't do easy things. Yeah. So, you know, um, so it's exploring that question. Mm which is a continuous process.